No longer a rumor or concept, the Chinese government has officially approved a hydroelectric dam project downstream of the Yarlung Tsangpo River in Tibet. This is the largest hydroelectric project in human history, surpassing even the Three Gorges Dam. Three times larger than the iconic dam, it could humorously be called the Nine Gorges or the Grand Gorges. When discussing a hydroelectric project, people are naturally curious about the river it is built on. That river is the Yarlung Tsangpa, which is not just any ordinary river, it is a symbol of majestic nature, geographical might, and the rich cultural stories of the Tibetan region. Yarlung Tsangpa is the highest altitude river in the world, flowing at an average height of about 4,500 meters on the Tibetan plateau. It originates from the northern slopes of Mount Kailash, one of the most sacred mountains in the world. This mountain is considered the center of the universe not only in Buddhism but also in Hinduism. The Yarlung Tsangpo River spans over 2,800 kilometers, making it an impressively long river. It flows from west to east across Tibet before curving southward into India, where it is known as the Brahmaputra River, and finally empties into Bangladesh. There, it merges with the Ganges River and flows into the Bay of Bengal. Due to its steep gradient, this river is not only long but also has an incredibly strong current, making it a natural powerhouse of energy. Mentioning the Yarlung Tsangpo River inevitably brings up the gorge of the same name. This gorge, also called the Yarlung Tsangpo Gorge, is one of the deepest gorges in the world. Its maximum depth reaches 5,382 meters, surpassing even the Grand Canyon in the United States. How long is this gorge? It stretches nearly 500 kilometers, equivalent to the length from northern to central Vietnam. The gorge is renowned not only for its beauty but also for its diverse ecosystems. It is home to tropical rainforests as well as perpetually snow-capped peaks. Due to its vast length and size, it contains an incredible richness. Tibetans believe that this gorge is the dwelling place of deities, with the Yarlung Tsangpo River being a sacred waterway leading to heaven. According to legend, those who conquer this place will achieve enlightenment. Today, the Chinese are pursuing enlightenment in the most modern sense, conquering the Yarlung Tsangpo River. This river holds enormous hydroelectric potential. It is a giant hydroelectric battery with powerful currents, rugged terrain, and a massive water flow. The hydroelectric potential of the Yarlung Tsangpo River is estimated at 80 gigawatts, surpassing every other river in the world. This figure is sufficient to provide electricity to tens of millions of people and replace a significant portion of energy derived from fossil fuels. The river's average water flow exceeds 20,000 cubic meters per second in the downstream sections. This massive water volume is replenished by glacial melt from the Tibetan Plateau, especially during the summer when warmer weather accelerates melting, intensifying the river's flow. According to calculations, the electricity generated from the Yarlung Tsangpo River could meet the entire energy needs of the Tibetan region, a Chinese autonomous area, and its neighboring areas. This source is not only crucial for present-day energy demands but also for the future, as China and the world move towards renewable energy to mitigate climate change. Before embarking on the super project, China constructed a dam known as the Daegu Dam. Completed in 2021, this dam marked one of China's initial steps in harnessing the hydroelectric potential of the Yarlung Tsangpo River. Built near the upstream area, the dam has an installed capacity of approximately 5 gigawatts, sufficient to supply electricity to millions of households. However, the Daegu Dam pales in comparison to the megaproject currently under discussion. Let's tentatively refer to this project as the Yarlung Tsangpo Super Project since it is located within the gorge of the same name. Dubbed the largest hydroelectric project on the planet, this is not only a technological marvel but also an unprecedented feat in the history of the world. With an expected capacity of up to 60 gigawatts, this project could surpass the Three Gorges Dam, becoming the largest hydroelectric structure in human history, three times the size of the Three Gorges Dam. The project is proposed to be built in the Yarlung Tsangpa Gorge, located in southeastern Tibet, a region where the river's natural height differentials provide an enormous advantage, a gift from nature for Chinese engineers. According to Chinese planners, the goal of the project is to fully exploit the river's kinetic energy to create a massive renewable energy source, supporting the country's rapidly growing economy. 
This dam is expected to supply clean energy to at least 50 million households annually. While major rivers like the Yangtze or Lansang have already been exploited to their fullest potential, the hydroelectric potential of the Yarlung Tsangpo remains untapped. This makes the region an attractive target for a mega hydroelectric project. If completed, the project could replace the output of hundreds of thermal power plants, alleviating the pressure on China's fossil fuel resources and reducing CO2 emissions. The construction of the super dam would offer Tibet a chance for rapid economic development, with upgraded infrastructure and the creation of thousands of new jobs. Electricity generated from the project would support local industrial development, helping the region escape its current underdeveloped status. This project is a key component of China's long-term strategy to enhance renewable energy capacity and reduce reliance on coal. China could ensure a stable electricity supply for major cities in the eastern and central regions, such as Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangdong. Building a super-hydroelectric dam at the highest gorge in the world is no easy task. The rugged terrain and harsh climate of Tibet impose extraordinarily high technological demands, with the estimated cost of the project exceeding 50 billion US dollars. This figure could rise further if unforeseen issues arise during construction. Despite its immense potential, exploiting hydroelectric power on the Yarlung Tsangpo River comes with significant challenges. Building such a large-scale dam could alter the river's natural flow, leading to deforestation, soil degradation, and erosion. The gorge, home to many endemic plant and animal species, risks losing its unique ecosystem. However, once a hydroelectric project is initiated, such consequences are often accepted. While China may accept these trade-offs, its neighboring countries might not. The Yarlung Tsangpa flows into India and Bangladesh, and China's large dams could reduce downstream water flow, causing severe droughts and water shortages in these nations. This could heighten tensions between China, India, and Bangladesh, further complicating their already strained relationships. Building super dams in complex terrains like the Yarlung Tsangpa Gorge is not only expensive but also fraught with risks. Earthquakes and landslides, which frequently occur in this region, pose significant threats to such structures. Although no one wishes for it, the dreaded scenario of earthquakes impacting massive dams must always be considered. These colossal structures are akin to giant water bombs hanging over seismically active areas. This transforms the dam into a potential ticking time bomb for downstream populations, not only in China but also in India and Bangladesh. The southeastern part of the Tibetan Plateau is highly prone to earthquakes as it lies along the geological fault line between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates, which are colliding with each other. For instance, the 2008 Sichuan earthquake along the eastern rim of the Tibetan Plateau serves as a stark warning. With a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale, the quake devastated almost the entire Sichuan region and severely impacted nearby areas. The disaster resulted in nearly 70,000 deaths, 17,000 missing persons, hundreds of thousands injured, and over 5 million people left homeless. This serves as a warning. If a major earthquake of similar magnitude, or even greater, occurs near the super hydroelectric dam in the Yarlung Tsangpa Gorge, one of the largest hydroelectric projects in the world, the consequences would not only be confined to the region but could also extend to downstream nations like India and Bangladesh. With massive structures holding hundreds of billions of cubic meters of water, a dam failure could trigger a seismic-like disaster, unleashing a chain of catastrophic events. The most frightening scenario is the collapse of the dam. The super dam in the Yarlung Tsangpa Gorge, with a reservoir capacity of up to 300 billion cubic meters of water, equivalent to 100 million Olympic-sized swimming pools, would release a massive amount of water downstream in the event of a failure. This flood wave could reach heights of 50 to 70 meters, sweeping away everything in its path at speeds of tens of kilometers per hour. Residents in Indian states such as Andhra Pradesh would be the first to bear the brunt, with tens of millions facing displacement and homelessness. The flooding could continue downstream into Bangladesh, where rising water levels threaten to submerge up to one-fifth of the country's land area, impacting the lives of tens of millions of people. Landslides are another equally serious threat. 
A powerful earthquake in Tibet could send billions of cubic meters of rock and soil cascading into reservoir areas, significantly reducing capacity and potentially blocking the river's flow. Imagine a massive volume of earth and rocks equivalent to hundreds of times the mass of the Great Pyramid of Giza crashing into the reservoir. This would not only decrease the efficiency of hydroelectric plants but also heighten the risk of a chain reaction dam failure. Such a domino effect could destroy multiple smaller dams downstream, creating an even greater disaster. The long-term impacts are even more concerning. If the reservoir is damaged, its ability to regulate water flow would significantly decline, leading to disruptions in electricity supply. The super dam, with its projected capacity of 60 gigawatts, enough to power tens of millions of households annually, could cease operations for an extended period. This would leave tens of millions of families without electricity and create a massive gap in China's energy supply. Repairing or reconstructing the dam could cost tens to hundreds of billions of dollars, while the economic losses from energy disruption could be exponentially greater. Beyond infrastructure losses, Tibet's environment would suffer severe consequences. The Yarlung Tsangpa Gorge, with its unique ecosystem and many rare animal species, would be almost destroyed. Mud and chemicals spilling into the water would contaminate freshwater sources and devastate the natural habitats of aquatic species. Furthermore, earthquakes could alter the river's natural flow, creating unstable lakes that pose a risk of sudden flash floods in the future. Considering the risks and impacts, a major earthquake in Tibet could cause catastrophic losses beyond imagination. To address this risk, hydroelectric facilities must be designed to withstand earthquakes with magnitudes of up to 8.5 on the Richter scale or even higher. Additionally, continuous seismic monitoring and the development of emergency response plans are essential. An early warning system could help minimize damage and ensure the safety of both the structure and the local population. For the Chinese, developing hydroelectric power in Tibet is not just an energy challenge but also a significant test of safety and environmental responsibility. If the super dam is successfully constructed and completed, it will not only become the largest hydroelectric project on the planet but also the greatest test of humanity's ability to confront the power of nature. In a vulnerable region like Tibet, any mistake could lead to disaster. The Yarlung Tsangpo River and this super dam are not merely a river or a structure, they are symbols of the immense force of nature and the technological potential of humanity. If utilized responsibly, this river and dam could become a leading source of renewable energy, helping mitigate climate change and promoting sustainable economic development. However, everything has two sides, and people often fear the worst outcomes. Thank you for following this story. If you found it interesting, please subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, and share our content.